Okay, guys, Nicola is back in the news. <laughs> the Nicola, uh, okay, EV maker Nicola stock drops as CEO to step down. Okay, let's check out. People still own Nicola stock? Like, what is going on? All right, let's check. Let's see. Move on to another uh, another mover. Something tells me this one is a little squeezy as well. Actually, I'm gonna I'm talking about Nicola, but I'm gonna call up the short interest real quick, like here on this one. That one's 23%. So that one uh, do, maybe do see squeezes sometimes, but not today. The shares are down 11%. Uh, results $3. from Nicola showing a beat on the top line. The number of EVs produced and shipped fell. Uh, probably also getting a lot of headlines today. There's a new CEO at Nicola, Michael Loschuller, stepping down for family health reasons. He's going to be replaced by Chairman Steve Gursky. Uh, the company also winning shareholder backing to issue new stock. That means it can now raise additional funds to help launch its fuel cell powered trucks. On the other hand, dilutes the value for existing shareholders if it is selling more shares. Um, I believe this is the fourth new ex chief executive for this company <laughs> in as Trevor many Milton? years, if I'm not mistaken. Since so Trevor? this is, you know, a company that's seen a lot of turmoil, quite, quite a lot of turnover. Yeah, um, uh, Gursky at least is familiar because he's a, the chairman of the company, so he's Yes, yeah, a familiar around. name. Does it speak it as to, does it speak to any kind of confidence in the company? I don't think so. Uh, you look at <laughs> no some of the numbers, way. you know, just revenue alone, $15 million, $15.4 million, excuse me. Wow. Estimate was for $14.9 million. This is a That's micro great. cap uh, yeah, company, basically, by these revenue numbers. Um, still really not getting into the full swing of their business. So I don't know what to really make of the report itself, but I can tell you what the stock action is doing. Mm -hmm. All right, two months, it's up almost 500%. That's impressive, but you take a look at the year to date. Well, it's up 57%, but it had a huge drawdown here. And then let's take a look at the max chart. Um, this is oh another one. This God, peaked in 2020 in the middle of the year, and it is down, Jeez. it was down 99% from there. <laughs> so I was commenting on the DraftKings. Well, here's the DraftKings, and you can see we are up a lot more than Nikola that we see right here. Nicola is yeah, not- Yeah, interesting uh, stuff. Um, oh my comparing God. The, the two companies, yes. although Nicola obviously much more speculative, whereas DraftKings actually- Well, they have, they have real they revenues. They have a product. They, they have yeah. a product, there you go. They have a product that's out there. Oh my God, I can't believe people are, people still own Nicola stock. Like Here's, what? Um, Do I, they still have hope that it's gonna like start selling their hydrogen fuel cell trucks there's only like 200 orders for these trucks and 200 oh my god it's just a mess nicola stock people i don't know what's going on with you guys who still own it but um it's a joke company it's gonna go bankrupt it's it's pathetic so yeah man see nicola <laughs> a terrible company and it's down, stock is down again, new CEO. It's just bad news for Nicola. Get the hell out of there if you, uh, yeah, if you own any, it's a terrible idea. But anyway, Nicola, see you guys on the next one. <laughs>